What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, just real quickly, a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you guys could click that button, it would be greatly appreciated. And then I'm gonna tell you exactly what camera you came to this video for. Um, that camera, let's just get right into it, is the Dremel, the Fuji 645. This is a medium format camera. It is completely automatic and it is literally a point and shoot. It has a lot of manual settings. We'll get into that, but it is a point and shoot camera. I have taken this camera all over the place recently and I just put about five rolls of Kodak gold through this thing and it crushed it. It blew my mind. I have a Mamiya 7.2 for most of my medium format photography. Uh, and I do a lot of a lot of photography with that a six by seven camera. And that's typically what I've done with medium format is six by seven photography, but this six by four five negative is um it's special uh first off let's talk about price this thing is pretty pricey um you can find one online for about a thousand dollars i have the i model which is essentially a model that can read the film speed when you insert the film into the camera so you don't have to manually set it but i still manually set it just to be safe you can find one of these things this exact model for about thirteen hundred dollars in really really good condition um like new condition this one i got off of ebay it came from japan and it is in incredible condition i mean the paint's barely it, it looks brand new if i'm being honest with you uh some of the specs on this thing there are two buttons for shooting there is a half button there, so to shoot with this camera you do uh focus is half press and then full press for an image uh, and there's two buttons there's one on the front right here this right here you guys can see it this button and then there's one on the top so you have two shooting buttons and that's because you can shoot this thing vertically or horizontally it is naturally a vertical image naturally will produce a six by four and a half image inch image so that's actually vertically so if you want to shoot vertically it's normal you shoot normal like this and then if you want to take a horizontal or a landscape style image you switch it so it's opposite, which is kind of interesting and kind of a bit weird to get used to, but it works really well, especially nowadays, how a lot of, especially on social media, a lot of the images you view are actually vertical. It actually works out really, really well. Um, let's go through some images that I took recently. I took these at the beach on the Oregon coast. Um, and a lot of these were at golden hour and you guys can tell camera nails focus, uh, the camera colors look amazing. This was all, like I said, on Kodak gold, which is an incredible film stock. If you guys have not used that in medium format, it is. French, French kiss, chef's kiss. <laughs> it's it's really, really great. One thing that I love about this camera is that it has an onboard flash. So so on body flash, autofocus is really, really good. It's pretty tiny for a medium format camera. I mean, as you guys can see, it, it it's a little bit bigger than my hand, which for a medium format camera, they can get pretty big. I don't know if you guys have ever used a um, Mia RZ67 or any of those big cameras that weigh like 10 or 20 pounds it feels like uh, this thing is much more usable it has a strap that just goes around your neck and i can honestly put this in a backpack and not worry about it one thing that does worry me about this camera is that it is electric so most of the components on this camera are electric which means if you run out of batteries or you have an electric problem the camera's kind of shot and with the camera being shot there's not a lot of places that fixes these kind of cameras nowadays so it is kind of a pain in the ass to get it fixed one also massive benefit if you guys have shot medium format before you know that you don't get a lot of photos on a normal six by seven roll you get about 10 images max on a six by seven roll of medium format film um, but with this thing it actually will fit because it is a smaller size negative you get 16 photos of medium format they're about two and a half times bigger than a 35 millimeter negative so it's kind of like a great in between of you're shooting medium format but you're not shooting full resolution medium format so as you guys can see, looking at these photos, they are incredibly sharp, incredibly detailed, a uh, ton of shadow detail, ton of highlight detail, um, really great negative to work with. So the negative that this produces is unlike any other camera I've ever used personally. I bet there are a bunch of cameras out there that shoot six by four, five um negatives but this one in particular is is really really special and i really enjoy using this thing it's not as intimidating as a normal medium format camera and it rivals the contacts t2 in a lot of ways um if you guys have not used the contacts t2 that is a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera all electric and i would like to say that this is the rival to that in the medium format form if i had uh, if I had to pick a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera, it would be the Contax T2. And then if I had to pick a medium format point and shoot camera, it would be the Fuji 645. If you guys want to look more into this camera, there's a bunch of articles online about like the details and specs, but from personal use, I love it. It hasn't 
really miss focus ever and it's every negative that i've gotten from it has come out super super crisp and i can't wait to shoot more stuff with this camera specifically and if you guys have any questions please be sure to drop them down below uh this was just a brief insight into my love for the fuji 645 and if you guys have any questions about other cameras please leave them below again thank you for the support on the channel it's been greatly appreciated uh like comment subscribe do that whole thing and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned a little something and i will see you next time bye